All right, guys, one of the coolest things, man, I ran into a young lady named Molly. Absolutely the neatest thing I've ever seen. Uh, walking up to a range and seeing this, a lady in a, an otherwise Mormon slash Mennonite uniform or dress just blasting away with a handgun. So it was really cool. But the reason for this video is, uh, one, I wanted to do this deal. Let me see if I can find my paperwork here. It's in here somewhere. What is this? Yeah, that's not it. All right, here we go. I was tagged in a video by Pops Quest to do this thing on seven reasons to, or uh, seven questions, okay? And I think he was tagged by <laughs> Cooper Burnout. All right, so anyway, um, before we get started, here are the people I am tagging. Now, I want you guys to do me a favor. Please, 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 if I say the name on here, I want you to please go to their YouTube channel. If you haven't already done so and you're not subscribed to them, please subscribe to them because these are some good folks. And there's a reason why I'm listing each one of them, okay? First one's going to be 904 Outdoors. All right, 904 Outdoors is a channel. He's down there in Florida. And um, I took a genuine interest in this young man just because uh, he's a real cool guy. And... Uh, you know, he's got a good production quality on his videos, and he wants to grow. And let's just face it, man, we don't grow in the YouTube world without helping each other out. And that's one of the reasons why. Okay, number two, I'm going to do four because they're very important. And they represent different stages of my YouTube channel's life. All right, number two is Jarhead 6. Now, Jarhead, if you haven't already been tagged in one of these things, don't, don't worry about doing it. But, guys, here's the reason I want to do Jarhead 6. When I had a youthful channel... I was sitting there, and uh, Big Johnson asked me one day, he says, man, what's going on? I've got all this going. i got a lot of videos going out, and not, I'm not getting a lot of hits. Well, I, in my very beginning of my YouTube channel, Jarhead6 and I were communicating back and forth, and um, he said the, I said the same thing to him. And here's the key, guys. Subscriptions are the key to growing, okay, of course. But he was very instrumental in watching him and his spirit and how he wanted to increase his viewership and everything else but the guy is always digging always working it just is very impressive his work ethic when it came to the youtube world so jarhead six these questions are going to be extended to you as well and i'll list them down below and i'll also list, list everybody's sites all right number four three on the list is resist the tyranny now here's the th cool thing resist the tyranny uh, I dig his channel because he's real. He's, he's a real deal. All right, very cool guy. I had a, a the the luck of being introduced to him on a chat last week with uh, Trees of Blowing, and uh, very very nice gentleman. Very cool, and uh, you know I want to hear the answers to his questions here. And then uh, fourth, but not least. Um, and this is one of the reasons why I'm doing this video here, because this is about the ancient people. Mr. Holster. Mr. Holster, I want you to answer these seven questions, because I think it's pretty cool. Now, I've had the pleasure of receiving a gift packet from Mr. Holster. I uh, had a Glock hat that my wife now wears constantly. And people look at it and go, Glock? Oh, my God. But in any case, um, I want to help Mr. Holster hit that 2,000 subscriber mark. And if anybody who's not subscribed to him in our little circle, reach over there and look down below and hit him and subscribe. All right? So if you're not already subscribed to the three people down below or four guys, uh, Jarhead, you've, you've got plenty of subscribers. You don't need help. <laughs> but anyway, um, go to their site. Subscribe. Excellent channels. Excellent content. Good valued information. All right? So here are the questions. Why do you do YouTube? Well, it all started out... I started watching YouTube, and that's how I came to build my first AR. And I was like, man, I could do this. And I had some information I wanted to share through my experience and just the pains and tribulations of, of building one of these damn things. Then I wanted to share that. And I was like, I could do this. Uh, where did your YouTube name come from? I've uh, done a video on this beforehand. Coda Boy. Well, Coda was a dog of mine. And I always used to go, Coda Boy, come here. And uh, Coda, weighed, he was a Lancer Newfoundland, a big old white and black dog. And he probably weighed 175, 185 pounds. So it's pretty cool. 
Uh, how long, number three, how long have you been on YouTube? Uh, I think about two years, something like that. Uh, didn't grow a lot. I think it has a lot to do with the name of the, of the uh, YouTube channel. Not a lot of people associate it with firearms. Who knows what a Coda Boy, a Coda Boy is? Shit, everybody's like, is that your uh, code name? Like, yeah, back in uh, Korea when we, never mind. Uh, <laughs> what do you use to record your videos? I use my telephone. I, uh, I have two uh, Samsung Note 5s, not the 7s, but the Note 5s, and they shoot fantastic video. And then I think a lot more of it's involved in the software that's used. Um, I use Magic Edit video edit pro or whatever it is I just got that that's what we'll be able to do the blue the green screen thing and before that it was just movie maker um, a lot of times I'll use a lavalier mic if I'm not really close to the camera go hot um, do you make your own thumbnails yeah I'm also a photographer so I've got some software and I'm able to actually use um, who made your intro and outro I don't have one I want one but I don't have one so if anybody out there knows of anybody really cool that can do one, like Pops Quest has got one really cool. I couldn't, not this computer stuff. There she goes, blasting. It's funny. You think you'll ever quit YouTube? Well, you know that's interesting. Got World War Three out here. Uh, any of the major YouTube channels, the guys that are real producers, and I'm not talking about people like uh, Hickok45. Uh, who does a video every week or something like that. I'm talking about the guys who are running the channels. Five videos, six videos, um, especially ones that are really going into production, doing a lot of reviews. There's a lot of expense involved in it, a lot of time, and it wears on you. There are certain times when I'm just like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this pace up. Uh, it's worth it, though, to see the subscribers coming in. It's rewarding to see the positive comments. Occasionally you get the, uh, the jackasses, you know, like... Uh, Oh, what's his name? <laughs> Joe Dirt. There you are. I hope you watch this, Joe Dirt. <laughs> Love seeing your comments, man. I miss it when you're not commenting on the videos, though. But yeah, it's wearing on you. But uh, to, to the note, I probably at some point will have to slow down on the videos. But uh, I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead. Twofold. Wanted to answer these things. I wanted to uh, introduce some new YouTube channels, answer the questions, and. I want you guys to check this out. This is a Glock 19, and this thing comes in the original tough container light thing. Now check this out. I'll read that. Best in market. Glock 17, 1987 U.S. award. Now this is the sticker that was on the front of this, and it just recently came off, and I'm going to actually adhere it back on there for my buddy. He's let, allowing me to borrow this thing. And this is one of the guns that still 10 round mags. That's how it is. I put my glasses on. I'm not going to shoot it today. But what I will do is because I want to do a comparison with the size between this and the SIG 320. This, and I'll do a picture show. Check this thing out. This has the old original sights on it, adjustable, and made in Austria. And this is the Glock 19. And the story behind this is that my buddy uh, went to look at new guns, and he. Uh, He was looking at the Glock 17, and he felt like the Glock 17 was a little big. And that's where he decided, I'm going to go with the Glock 19. And he purchased this thing in the 80s. Can't specify what year it is, because quite honestly, he can't remember. He's probably as old as uh, Mr. Holster. They're both in the law enforcement, I understand. <laughs> any case, uh, very neat little gun. Very good shape. Look at those sights. Check that out, man. Very cool. I might just throw some rounds down the range. Let's see if we can do this to make this thing work. Matter of fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll go ahead. I'll empty out one of my mags because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
because I didn't uh, I didn't bring any ammo with me. We'll, we'll see if the old booger will still fire. Shoot. We're good. And I'll tell you what. I like the trigger on this thing. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead. I want to do a couple more rounds. Let's take a look at that trigger, shall we? Put this in the boot can. I'm show you guys something. Check this out. Ready? I don't know how to shoot with my left hand. I know how to shoot with my left hand. Look at the rest of this thing though. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> Jam. That thing has no reset. That's an amazing trigger. And I would imagine over time, that's what it looks like. I'm going to have to fire this thing again. Wow. All right. But that don't mean I'm going to go out and buy one. I might buy this one. This is a nice gun. But I'm still upset that, and I haven't verified it for myself, they say that the Rangers are now going to go to the Glock 19. If it were me, I would want something a little bit more substantial. This is more of something that a concealed carry or something in a first tier unit would use, but not necessarily this one. That trigger, watch my finger. Watch it again. That's sick. It doesn't even move. I might have to buy this one. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell anybody. All right, guys. That's it. Um, go to those channels. That's the seven uh, questions. I've tagged a new individual. Check it out. It's a long video, but we've had a good time. Uh, go to Boy32. Support the boys in blue. And as always, God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. Glock 19, Gen 1. Why did I have to change it? I like this thing. Go to Boy32. Out. Y'all take care.